Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a video tutorial for the new Boston. Now in this video we're going to be creating a web application if you like or a script that works um, in a similar way to this. Now we have a text box here uh, in which we can type any data. So I'm going to say the cat sat on the mat. In this box here I can search for a string that I want to replace in particular and then I want to specify what uh, to replace it with. So let's say I wanted to search for cat. Cat exists uh, here in the string so I want to replace it with let's say dog um, or let's say monkey. Let's <laughs> make things fun. So now I'm going to click find and replace and you'll see that cat is replaced with the string monkey. Okay, so we already know in PHP that we can use the um, str underscore replace function. And this will allow you to specify either an array or a single string to replace. Now let's just open up my text editor and I'll demonstrate this for you. Okay, so str replace works by taking the string you want to replace uh, the data in, so the overall string, which in this case would be the text in this box here. Then what we'll do is we would search for the uh, string that we want to search for. So search and in this case it would correspond to this here. Then what we would do is we would specify what we want to replace it with and that would correspond to this box here. However this tutorial is dealing with the substring replace function and this function works in a similar way but has a combination of technique and what we do in this um, function I have another video on this so if you want to go back and refer to that is we have um, a string so our overall string once again what you want to what you want to replace so for example in this case we would be supplying monkey in there because we're choosing to replace with monkey and then we would choose the position the start position that we'd want to start replacing at so in this case, uh, let's go back to the original example of the cat sat on the mat. It would be 0, 1, 2, 3. We'd be starting at the third position. So we'd put a 3 in there. We'd then say how many characters we want to cut off and then add this string in. So in this case, it would be 3 also because we want to get rid of three characters starting from the third position and we want to replace that with the text monkey and this will be shifted along to a, a sort of um, allow you you know to have more than one more than three characters so obviously monkeys at six char characters so in this example I use the substring replace function where I could have just used str replace now the reason I'm doing this is simply to demonstrate the use that substring function can have if you wanted to create um, a script that did this you could just use the string replace function and you would be able to use it in the way I've already talked about however I'm gonna go the long way around things in this tutorial and talk about how we're using the substring replace. It's just going to give you an idea of how it can work in your program and maybe from this example you can adapt and use it in your own uses when you feel like you might need it. So I'm going to get rid of uh, this code here um, and we're going to start from the beginning. So the first thing we want to do is create our form. So let's start creating that. We're going to use a method of post and the action is going to be to the index.php again. So we're, we're uh, submitting this form back to index.php. Now let's refresh the page 
we've got nothing on the page at the moment so what we want to do now is create a text area in which users can enter a string of data so let's create a text area and end that there and what we also want to do is give it a name and in this case I'm going to call it text I'm going to just add rows and columns uh, this is rows and columns just to make it a bit larger than it is by default now we want to break down a couple of times and we want to say search for we break down again we use an input type of text so by now you should be comfortable with HTML forms and how they work and how they submit so I'm not going to be talking about that too much uh, an input type of text and the name of this is going to be search for now we can break down a couple more lines and say replace with so we're just simply setting up how our form is going to look so the input type in this case is going to be text again Ooh, text again and the name is going to re be replace with so we can break there as well now we want to put an, yeah, a submit button so I'm going to say input type equals submit and the value is going to be find and replace so let's go back to our, our page and refresh to see what we've got uh, let's cancel that and just submit the URL again okay so we've got a form where we can now type uh, data in here we can search for a string in here and then we, we can replace it with a string so all of this is string data so it's pretty easy to work with now let's start validating our form before we allow uh, these functions that we've discussed to take place so inside PHP we're going to use two we're going to use a nested if statement first of all we want to check if the form has been submitted that's very important we don't want to start processing data at the top of our page unless the user has actually clicked submit button and these are present 